Oh, hey girl. She looks like a haunted doll if there ever was one. Good morning and happy to well today is Friday the 29th of December. I keep saying January but it's not January yet. I'm at the shop. I just am printing off some um, of the items that have been paid and I am well I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to unwrap the things that I got from Riverside yesterday. I'll show you everything that I got because I just kind of showed you a little glimpse and then I am going to go shopping today. I'm going to go to um, Exit 76 Antique Mall, which is Indiana's largest antique mall. Um, but I did have an eBay sale. And I will, I haven't decided if I'm, I probably am going to film a standalone shop with me video there. But I will pop in a little bit for, there you go, for the vlog. But I did have a sale on eBay. The, co the McDonald's cocaine spoons. <laughs> I don't know. These, I got these drink stirrers, um, cocktail stirrers. Um, and all, there was like, I have got probably over a hundred of these McDonald McSpoons, which were banned because people were using them to sniff their cocaine. So I don't want to know people are, I mean, maybe people just remember these from their childhood. I don't know, but I've sold th these four. For that amount of money and I have them in lots of four and in lots of eight and I have lots of lots so those sold so I'm gonna get these shipped go to the post office but before I do that I'm gonna unwrap the things that I got from Riverside yesterday and I'll show you what I got all right this is what I got from Riverside yesterday I got a Valentine apron I have another one I probably will bring those and do them as a choice I did go ahead and get Composition Cupy. She's in really, she's got one little spot right there, but she's got her original shoes, her original clothes. She's very, very cute. She's jointed. Um, I got an Ellie Smith Swung Vase. I got this blue Belgium jar because I have these other two sizes. So I might lot those together. Also got this little pixie shaker because I have a chartreuse one that I got from Riverside not too long ago, but I'm gonna lot them together. See, they're both shakers. One has one hole, one has two hole. So they are, I believe those are Gilner. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna lot those two together and sell them in a live sale. Um, and then I got some chopper hoppers his and hers i got that uranium glass um flower frog look at these anesco beavers look at these beavers this is a beaver dam jam pool beaver dam jelly pool jam and jelly there is a difference apparently and the mustard pond those are adorable they do th i think only one of them the mustard pond has a a re well is that or is that just no that is a repair on the spoon he looks good yeah just one repair so those are great i'm probably going to bring these to mother tucker's i'm doing a mother tucker's monday next monday so probably the QP. Uh, several of these pieces will probably come to Mother Tucker's sale. I've got a Rimple Squeak. I think this is Cuddles the Cat. These, th this is cool. Uh, it's a Valentine that you hang because it's got the little string. A little bird has told me so. How do little birdies know that I would be your Valentine if you would just only be mine? Little birds always know. And then look at these. This one is a honeycomb one. These like little cupids also another honeycomb she's got her big peel and knife there the little dog this one has the stand these just i love watch their eyes well i can't do this very good with one hand and then we've got the little mailman valentine or school crossing guard maybe and i love this one look at her there'll be fireworks if you don't say you're my valentine maybe it'll be fireworks if you do and this one is an also one of those motion ones burp, 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 burp. i love those 
But that's it. Oh, oh, the service merchandise. This is from 1984. Service merchandise. I mean, it's just cool to look. You, this is honestly a really good reference book, too. In many instances, look at the old baby swings. The old turntables and luggage. The card tables. So, I don't know. I was intrigued by it. So, that's everything that I got from Riverside. And now we're going to load up the car. We're going to go to the post office. And um, then we're going to head to uh, exit 76. It's like an hour and a half drive or so. All right, quick stop at Trader Baker's Flea Market here in Seymour, Indiana, before I get to exit 76. It's been a while since I've been in here. So let's see what we can find in here today. All right, this compote. I believe might be Viking. Might be a cabbage leaf compote here. It's $14.95. Can't say for sure, but I'm kind of leaning towards it being that. So it's very pretty. I'm not going to get it, but it's very pretty and not a bad price. I love this wall of cubbies. I'd love to have that in my house. I think of all the Santa mugs you could put in every single one. <laughs> this is kind of cool. This little oil and vinegar sets missing the little t tops on them. Stepping into my 50th birthday like a boss. That's me. Here for too long. Yikes. What else? We got some little, little salt sellers with a silver overlay on them. They're three dollars a piece. This booth is 30% off. Watkins. What kinds of little fun things in this. These little nook and crannies. Not seeing anything else that is catching my eye per se. But it's fun looking in cubbies, I think. This is a little typewriter pen. I just, a ribbon tin. Always makes me think of Katie Vintage and Vinyl, but I love that it's got that moth on it. It's $7, but it is 30% off, so I might get that and hold that back for Katie. I think she might like it. Look at this toilet paper. Oh dear, what a load of crap. It's torn between, what does it say? Looking like a snack and eating one. True love is good aim. You're 60. Happy first anniversary. Thanks for putting up with my that. He is a very angry little gnome. Say hello to my little friend. Eek. He's kind of scary. These canisters are kind of neat. $45 for the three of them. That teapot's pretty too. So is this little wool purse for $7. I think that's really cute. It's not vintage, but it's just cute. Here's little Neil the Frog spoon rest. There he is. Sears and Roebuck, 1978. He is $16. Not seeing any um, boobers on him. I'm not. Also not seeing a sale. So I'm not quite sure, Neil. I'll have to think about you. All right, so I did look up comps for our buddy Neil, and that's not a bad price, so I think I'm going to get Neil, put him in my cart. All right, I was walking by here, and I was like, Liberace? No. It's, it's a new kids on the block. Look at the big rat tail. New kids on the block, Jordan Knight with his rat tail. But I was thinking Liberace there for a minute. Nope. He's $9.50 sitting next to this little fox here but I did get I found it now it's got some condition issues but it's a Mickey Mouse insulator so I keep finding things for Katie <laughs> so I'm gonna send that to Katie as well well back in my car I just got the typewriter tin the insulator and Neil the frog so wasn't a whole lot in uh, Trader Baker's but I'm getting ready to go over to Freddy's because exit 76 is about I don't know, a 20 minute drive or so from here So I'm gonna go to Freddy's and get me some cheese curds To eat on the way Just say they're amazing Today I am in Indianapolis 
area, Columbus, Indiana area at exit 76 Antique Mall. It's one of Indiana's largest antique malls. It's gonna take me several hours to see everything, but let's go in and see what we can find today to for our own collections, for our own home decor, and to resell on eBay, on Virtual Antique Marketplace, and my YouTube live sales. Let's go shopping. All right, they are open 10 to six every single day. So, let's go on in. Look at all this Raggedy Ann and Andy things. That's a lot of fun. And it's like they're not any older ones. Look at this robot Santa. Are you a cookie jar? Or a decanter? I'm not quite sure. Some little Hallmark ornaments. There. Madame Alexander. Mrs. Claus skiing. Oh, there's a Rudolph one too. Alright, and then over here there are look at the Halloween things. That makes my heart happy. Look at that little guy. Skeleton man. And then we've got some cases. Oh, I have these listed in my eBay store right now. Both of those. I mean not those exact same ones, but those things. They are listed in my eBay and my virtual antique marketplace storefront. The Peter Pan twins are glad to help. Unfortunately, that's been duct taped back together. That's not good. Got some birds and some hummels. Some Fenton shoes. A Royal Dalton old lady in her balloons up there. Oh, the salt and pepper shakers. Yay. Let's see if we've got... Oh, I love these. She's like ready with her knife. Yeah. And she's ready with her spoon. Yeah. The big bug eye. Those are $5 for that pair right there. Look at these little guys. Oh, these are kind of cute. Little mid-century modern looking Christmas trees. They got some gold paint wear. And those are really kind of fun, honestly. Look at that. I think that's a Norcrest cat. The blue cat teapot. It's $125. That is kitschy. Amazing. This little drippings um, bowl is $45. The little jadeite bowl there. And look at the little cupies or, or the little um, uh, penny dolls. $8, $10. There is a um, uh, storybook doll there. And the Rimple, the Hobo Rimple for $65. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at all this beautiful uranium glass. This one's $82. $82. Might be Northwood or Jefferson. Beautiful, beautiful. The Stacey and Buttons. I bet they glow like the Dickens, too. I love this. This display. The baskets. The baskets are $35 each, but I love that whole display. The whole display thing there. I love that. Oh, I found a basket of babies. A basket of bears. Oh, he's got still such a happy little face on him. For $48. Yeah, these are getting harder and harder and harder and harder and harder to find. I'm glad that other people are buying them and giving them love again. Ooh, pin up ink blotter. Hubba hubba. This is the ink blotter is ten dollars for that. This is pretty. It's twenty dollars for this like pink milk pink milk glass. It's a it says it's crown Tuscan shell dish. But I also noticed this one too. Crown Tuscan Nautilus vase for 35. That's different, isn't it? It's really pretty. Oh look, there she is. Sewing Susan. I do like this little pixie puppet though. He's got a fun face on him. Look at the babies. Look at the Patsy Ann doll. Oh, look at that baby. Ah. A scary baby. Ooh. These, okay, these dolls right here. That's an Armand. Now she is a good, she's a, she's 
$299. That expression is everything. These girls right here, these Terry Lee dolls, I, don't, I have never seen one in person. Her neck looks a little broken back there, but yeah, they're about $500 a piece, but those are amazing, but I can't get over this. <laughs> oh, hey girl. She looks like a haunted doll if there ever was one. Childhood Classics Cloth Gall doll. <sighs> she's a little frightening. She's $40. I don't know. She kind of, she worries me a little bit. I get some vibes with that one. There's a little Koopy down there. She's a cameo Koopy. Got lots of cool babies. I like that quilt bear too. Some more babies over here. There's a, oh, you got a nice dress there, girl. I'm liking the seeing the dolls and all this old fiesta. Sure. It's pretty, pretty cool. I like to see all of this. $10 a plate. Okay, this booth is doing 50% off. <clears throat> now, he would have had a partner that said Mary, but he is 50% off of $8.50, so I'm just going to get him for my own collection because he's Santa and I love Santa. It'd be about four twenty-five, and then look at this sweet little baby angel, made in Japan, no repairs for. So he would be ten dollars. He's so cute, Columbia. Oh, that's kind of neat. The Columbia space shuttle. This is neat. The salt and pepper shaker with the Indy car. In the state of Indiana. So those are $24. They'd be 15, 50% off. Hot wheel case, but it's empty. Walk, walk your bock. Watch your bock. Are you watch your bock? Yeah. Christmas mug with kitty cats. That would be $5. Spode sled. Let's go and take a look. These are interesting. $85. Italy gold bowl it says oh look at you hey girl this booth has a lot of fun things not running a sale but look at the flamingos so this is three dollars just a single shaker but it might be I don't know if it says flamingo shaker three dollars and then there's this one it's another shaker for six dollars and then this one here is two dollars that's a bone china but i don't know if this one has some sort of a marking i don't think that it's maddox a keeler i don't know I, i'm not that familiar with these but i mean great price if you like your flamingos look at the little putt style church that's really pretty cool too Look at Big Scootles. That's a big one. It's $174. It's in really good condition, too. Oh, hi, Scootles. So, we've got some teddy bears. And look at that. There's a damn troll. There's a damn troll for $425. Yeek. Well, that is a lamp there. Koalas. It's $34. ADI lamps, music box enclosed. Does this still work? No, the music box doesn't work. That is 1980s at its finest right there. Yeah, so I'm not really finding a whole lot. I did get a couple things. I've decided that I'm going to show you what I got in like a little bit of a haul because I got really excited about some of the things that I found and I didn't film them at all. So, and I'm about done honestly I don't know it's just there's just not a, as uh, there's not as much here as there once was I, you can see I got posters for Jaden and a few little things so that's that's really about it not a whole heck of a lot well hello happy Hi. <laughs> December 30th look there's Mark it's been long, so long Mark you want to do advent calendars <laughs> no uh, we're at the shop working, but I wanted to um, show you a couple of items that, well, I didn't get a lot yesterday. I really didn't. I got some posters 
for Jaden, which I'm not going to show you. It's like Mario Brothers. That's the thing. Exit 76 had, it did have antiques, but it was a lot of non-antiques. Um, th that kind of stuff. So anyway, I didn't get a lot is what I'm trying to say, but I'm going to show you what I did get. All right, I did get this beautiful Fenton. I think this is Daisy and Fern. Um, Jack in the Pulpit. Isn't this beautiful? And the Cranberry with the Opalescent. So I got that. I did get this little piece of Fenton here, too, with the paper label. Um, this is li Lily of the Valley, possibly. Um, I did show you on camera, I got this little Santa here. It says Christmas. He's missing his Mary, but he was 50% off, and I'll stick him with my Santas. Um, I got a little mini chihuahua, a little bone china chihuahua, and a little deer, a little bone china deer. I'll have to take off the string. I got a plush pooda. Look at the eyes on this one, too. I liked his eyes, those silver buttons. Very, very cute, very, very clean. I got this pink blow mold bunny bank and because I was like, oh, I have that one in pink. So I got I got some Easter stuff. We do got some Easter stuff that I am storing away for Easter time. I got look little house hippo shakers. These are Joseph. Joseph original made in Korea. Little house hippo salt and pepper shakers. And then these are Relco or Relpo. Rel Co. Po. Are you Co or Po? Co. Rel Co pin money. Now they would have had a metal stand that they would have hung from. Um, that in and of itself, if you find one that's complete, is an amazing feat because I've never seen them complete. I've honestly never seen the his and hers together. I've always seen them separate. I did pay fifty dollars for this the couple. They're in wonderful condition. They are missing their little caddy, but. They do have their stoppers, and there's no chips on them at all. So I, I I did pay up for those, but I just don't see them very often. Sometimes you get really excited when you see, don't see things very often. And then him. Let's take off your little... Look at him. Oh, well, let me show you his. He's Garlic Gus. And he's either, I think he might be Gilner. Oh, is that Gilner? Possibly Treasure Craft, but I'm, I'm leaning towards Gilner. His little garlic keeper. Look, he's holding his nose. Now, I like garlic, garlic Gus. So I welcome the garlic. But isn't that adorable? So I got that as well. And that's it. Not a lot. Um, and then these are the three items that I got from Trader Baker's. I did get Neil the Frog Spoon Rest. And then these I'm going to send to Katie, the little elk typewriter ribbon and the Mickey Mouse. It, he's It's in pretty rough shape, but very, still the blue ones are really kind of cool. And they're pretty collectible in their own right. So I know Katie had been looking for one vintage and vinyl. So I think I'm going to send those to her, but that's all I got. It wasn't a lot. But today I am going to, Mark is going to work on his Hot Wheels today. I am going to film some videos for the Misty show that I've been putting off doing. Oh, you know what? Before I get started, I am going to show you some of the items that I'm going to be selling to, no, Wednesday, Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to wheel my little cart down here and I'll show you. All right, so I've pulled everything that's going to be available in Tuesday's live sale. Pull this because one of the things is this uranium glass flower frog. We've got some cats, some Commodore dogs, some Impoli, some white milk glass Nautilus, some dogs, some birds, some Vikings, some poodles, some books, this great leopard TV lamp, some Belgian jars. This beautiful, I'm going to sell this beautiful Jack in the Pulpit piece on Wednesday. Some children's book, this beautiful book from the turn of the century. Very Gilded Age book right there, The Christy Girl. It's in such good condition, too. A micro mosaic brooches, another one of Daphne's mushies, some uh, fun salt and pepper shakers. What else? 
There was something else I thought. Well, maybe that's it. Some uh, vintage children's artwork. So combination of things. I am also going to be giving away another vintage vamp t-shirt here. This will be on Wednesday sale with Veronica on it. So hope you can come on Wednesday. I think instead of doing a reel, you know, I do these reels and I'm like thinking, are, do they do, are they, cause it takes, you know, it can take a good half hour or more to make a reel on Instagram. So I think I'm just going to take pic a, a picture of everything and maybe just take, I'm going to, I'm going to work smarter. I'm going to work smarter. I think, I, I mean, at, at least that's my plan. But there was something else. Oh, I know. There was something else I was going to show you, and that was sales overnight. On eBay, I sold this, another, a Christmas ornament. They're still selling. They're still selling. This is a Shuttlecraft Gal Galileo uh, from the Starship Enterprise. And it has a little motion. Hear the voice of Mr. Spock on that one. And then on Virtual Antique Marketplace, I sold the Mackinac Bridge plate. To Zona. Thanks, Zona. Zona sent me an offer too, which you can do on Virtual Antique Marketplace. You can you can send offers if you see items that you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and give my another plug to Virtual Antique Marketplace. Go over, check it out. There's over a hundred uh vintage sellers on there that have all been vetted and they are trusted sellers. They are really, really good, trusted quality vintage sellers. Or sellers that sell vintage items. Do you know what I mean? So go over and check out Virtual Antique Marketplace. Um, I, it's all linked down in the description. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog today so I can get working on getting it edited and up. Um, I am not going to be vlogging over the next couple days over the holiday just to kind of give a little bit of a break. But So this video will go up on Sunday, but I'm going to be... No. Yes. Sunday, which is, it's Saturday. Sunday will be tomorrow for you. Um, but then I'm going to take a couple days off of vlogging to, um, we're going to be going out of town for another Christmas thing. So I'm going to take those, those couple days. I'm going to take some days off is what I'm trying to say. But thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I'll get to work on editing some shop with me videos that I've had. And I, you know, I decided yesterday, I was going to film a standalone video for Exit 76, but I just decided, you know what? I'm going to make it a part of the vlog. It just seems natural to me. I'm out and I'm shopping and I'm vlogging and I'm shopping. So I combined the two. I hope you didn't mind, but I, I, I'm going to do that from, from time to time. Anyway, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure that you're subscribed if you are not. I would love, I'm getting close, but my goal is 40,000 subscribers. I'm at 38 something something. So tell your friends. I like, I, I just, I don't know. It doesn't make any difference. And honestly, it does make, it makes zero difference how many subscribers you have. The only thing that matters is how many people are watching your videos. But still, if you're putting out content and you're putting the work in, you like to see your subscriber count go up. A little bit. You know what I mean? So I'm really jonesing for the 40,000 subscribers. That would be, that would be exciting for me. So thank you. If you're not subscribed, I've actually had people that have said, I watch your videos all the time. I'm not subscribed. And I'm like, but why? So if you're watching right now and you're not subscribed, it doesn't cost you any money. Nothing. You just hit subscribe and that's it. That's all you have to do. That is it. And when you're subscribed, then you get notified when I go live or when I have, um, or when I'm having a live sale, not all the time because the notifications don't always work, but they're supposed to, if you are subscribed. So hit the subscribe and, um, I hope you guys have a great new year's. I won't see you again until it will be 2024. So may, let's make 2024 the best one yet. Let's do this. So happy new year, y'all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. 
It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.